Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about using the F110 simulator. In this part of the lecture, we're going to go over how to get started with the simulator on your own machine and have a mini lab on driving the car in the simulator. In the next part of the lecture, we're going to go over how to work with the simulator by understanding the structure and working with code yourself. And we'll have a lab on creating a safety node for automatic emergency braking. So what is the simulator? We created the simulator um, entirely in ROS. It's written in C++. We display it in Arvis. It simulates car motion and collision. It also publishes laser scan and odometry data to the corresponding ROS topics, and you can manually control it through joystick or keyboard. So what you can, what can, what can you do with the simulator? We designed the simulator for fast prototyping of motion planning or racing algorithms. As shown in the figure here on the left, you can see the car in the simulator being controlled by Pure Pursuit. And on the right, you can see the car being controlled by RT Star as a local planner. So why use the simulator? First of all, it's more portable. It can be ran on a laptop. It is also faster to set it up. You don't have to set up a physical track and you don't have to charge batteries. It also provides faster prototyping, but easy to tune parameters on your algorithms. You can also have safer driving by having no risk of harming the physical systems or people by crashing. It also provides a smooth transition from simulator to the real car since all the topics are the same on the car and on the simulator. So to get started, if you're on a Linux system, you can just clone from the F110 org and the F110 labs repo on GitHub and follow the instructions there. If you're on Mac, you can run from a Docker container. And if you're on Windows, you'll need to install a virtual machine or clone from Git, GitHub. And you'll, we'll hand out specific details. If you have keyboard control on the simulator, you need to focus on the terminal window and then press K to give control to the keyboard. And then you can use the standard WSD control for steering and press the space bar to stop the car. So, and hitting a wall in the simulator will turn the key bar off. So press K again to reactivate it. That's it for this part. See you next time.